How you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. Today, our topic is on what keeps us from raising the level of our being. On our journey of self-development, one of the key themes that you will find across all spiritual paths is that of purification, and specifically of the purification of our emotions. The emotions that we have picked up through life that are now part of our false personality is what keeps us at the level of being that we are currently at. False personality is all that we have acquired from life. All our conditioning from the external environment that has shaped us. False because it's not intrinsic to our real nature. These emotions that we learn from the imitation of those around us are mainly negative. This false personality is largely responsible for all our misunderstandings and unhappiness in our lives. These emotions only serve to confuse and distort our inner world. These psychic influences become part of our acquired being. When these influences are stimulated, when they are triggered by our environment, give rise to especially harmful emotions such as vanity, these emotions prevent a normal development of our emotional life and a higher state of consciousness, which is why so much emphasis is placed on purifying our emotions. These emotions that prevent our inner growth can take on very subtle forms, which is why we need to practice sincere self-observation in order to realize their significance in our lives and uproot them. If you are new to my channel, check out my video on self-observation as this term has a very distinct and very subtle meaning not commonly understood from the common usage that these words usually imply. So we need to be very sincere with ourselves because these emotions are very tricky and most people even imagine that they do not even possess them even though they will constantly remind you of all the times they were offended or upset with the way that others treated them, all the while being completely oblivious of the connection it has to their vanity and self-conceit. As we become more conscious of all that happens within our inner space through our practices like self-observation and meditation, we begin to awaken our real conscience. This capacity is not related to acquired conscience which is just the ideas around morality from our particular culture, this inherent intelligence begins to inform us of the pure and impure living within us. We develop an inner taste that gives us clarity about our intention, intentions, whereas before we were unconscious. We may realize that our charity work was not done for the love of helping others, but that it was motivated out of vanity. These emotions leave a bad taste in our inner world. This then serves as motivation because we start to see the importance of not indulging in these negative states as we become more conscious of the consequences. And as we can all see, these emotions spread very easily. Let's take vanity. We can all see how prominent it is in our social media. Um, for example, Instagram is basically a platform that thrives off of it. In order to purify our being, we must clearly see that we ourselves possess these emotions, seeing how they work and the effects they give rise to. When we are aware of something, we are on our way to changing it. The more conscious we are of something, the higher possibility for it to change on its own. This is the essence of knowing thyself of knowing the level of our own being. As we accumulate more objective self-knowledge, we are changing the level of our being. By clearly seeing this impure energy within you, clearly seeing how it works, you will also be able to understand and deal with others much better. When you can clearly see something inside of yourself, you can then see it in another. Then how can you get mad at someone else? when you can see that you yourself are the same. When you are interacting with others, you will be able to know if you are interacting from a pure or impure place and then see the effects of it. Speaking from a pure place, 
you will see that it will become a more genuine interaction that can benefit everyone. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share with anyone who might find it useful. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Peace.